If you have never seen the FET interactive simulation site, I'm sure you science and math people will find something useful on this site. And I'm proud to say it's from the University of Colorado at Boulder. I now live out in Colorado. Um, there's different ways of looking. You can go basically under simulations and look at the different categories. There are newest ones, ones that are done in HTML. You can look at them by subject area, physics, biology, chemistry, earth science, math. You can do by grade level. You can do by device. So if you have a certain device in your building, like a Chromebook, um, some of the FET simulations, um, all of them do not run on Chromebooks. So if you click on by device, you can go to Chromebook and see where they're compatible. And when it says with select Chromebooks, It shows you what type of Chromebook it will work with. So you can check out to make sure that your Chromebook is compatible. And basically, in this case, there isn't a filter. Um, you can look at them in two different views. You can look at them in, in a list by device Chromebook and look at them in alphabetically order by clicking on list. That might be easier than the thumbnail view. It depends on what you want to do. So you can look through and see what you're looking for. So maybe you're looking for a calculus grapher. You can click on it, and here it is. You're able to download them, and I assume that means you can download them to a Chromebook. Otherwise, why would it be inside of a Chromebook? You can embed them into your website if you know how to embed things in websites. And here, this is really cool. They now have the feature where you can put them in Google Classroom. Okay, so you can click on them and basically share to your classroom. And if you need more directions on sharing to your classroom, um, you can send me an email and I will send you lots of links. But a lot of people are using that. So that will work for most of them. So just say I'm going straight, straightly to math, excuse me, straight to math. Once again, you've got two ways of filtering, math concepts, math applications, and once again, you have thumbnail view or list view. And I can check through, and here's an alphabetical order. So maybe I'm looking up curve fitting. Once again, you can download it. It tells you a little bit about what it's going to go over. And you can share it to face, I'm sorry, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or Google Classroom. Or download it. If you wanted to use it, you can download it, and I can open it up, my download. So once you download it and open it up, here's the simulation. Now, I know nothing about this, so I can't tell you how to play with it. I'm just clicking on things, and maybe you can figure it out. But they're simulations. I'm not a math teacher. So I assume if you're a math teacher and you're understanding curve fitting, that this might make you happy. There is another way of searching under teaching called browse your activities. If you create something, I imagine you could share your activities. And if we take a look at the tips of using FET, you might want to watch this video to help you understand if you need some help. Um, like I said, there is this browse the activities, but I think the way of looking through it through the simulations menu by topic tends to be easier, especially with device pieces. But let's, for example, if I look up, let's see, if I look up a simulation like a lab about astronomy for all levels and all languages, and I hit browse, comes up this way. I can't exactly see how many there are but I could click on it, gravity and orbits, but it does tell you what grade level it's for, what type it is, what subject, and the three different simulations. So if I click on gravity and orbits, there's a whole bunch of other different things that go with it. So if you look through the browse way, you've got also other different, um, excuse me, other more, inform more detailed information than just when you're looking at the simulations. So the activities 
have more things than just the simulations. A simulation will be part of an activity. So if you're looking for something more comprehensive, you can do browse your activities.